uh, we investigated uh, silicon oxide coated graphite uh, in combination with uh, relatively new uh, class of multifunctional aqueous binder uh, as an anode for lithium ion batteries. So, we carried out silicon oxide coatings on graphite combined it with a suitable aqueous binder and uh, achieved a very stable electrochemical performance for lithium ion battery. Uh, binders are sort of an adhesive. Uh, their primary function is to hold the electrode components together and ensure me mechanical stability of the electrode during cycling. So, these binders they are used in very small fractions in a battery electrode, but they uh, influence the properties of a battery a lot. So, they, they influence the formation of uh, solid electrolyte interface, uh, influence the charge transfer properties uh, and uh, final electrochemical performance of the battery. So, we can say that these binders are very crucial components in a battery electrode. Binders, uh, they need a processing solvent. So, to formulate a uniform slurry and which uh, you can cast it out into a suitable substrate such as aluminium and copper. So, the most commonly used binder that is PVDF, it utilizes a, a rather toxic and uh, expensive solvent that is NMP. And due to this, we have to impose uh, very stringent uh, pro working protocols in industries and laboratories. And for all these reasons, people are trying to avoid uh, such binders and go towards uh, uh, green and eco-friendly uh, binders, uh, which are soluble in water and you can uh, then replace NMP with uh, water and, uh, and uh, work towards like uh, greener and safer future. Most of the binders that we use, uh, they are organic in nature. So, they have uh, two major uh, issues. So, first is their poor thermal stability that is they tend to decompose at temperatures uh, less than 400 degree uh, centigrade. And apart from this, they have uh, uh, no ionic uh, conductivity that is they are ionically insulating. And this is a major road roadblock uh, for their application in all solid state batteries. Last year, we published a uh, detailed report on water soluble phosphate and silicate salts of sodium and lithium. So, these materials uh, are new class of inorganic uh, aqueous binders and uh, they can be combined with uh, different electrode materials for sodium and lithium ion batteries. They have advantages such as intrinsic ionic conductivity, uh, which make them favorable uh, towards solid state battery applications. They have a very high thermal stability of more than 1000 degrees centigrade and apart from this they can also help to improve uh, uh, the electrochemical performance of different electrode materials for sodium ion and lithium ion batteries. Uh, the major challenge that we encountered was a poor addition between graphite and inorganic binders. And this was because graphite has no functional groups. So, we thought of uh, surface coating it with uh, silicon oxide so that we can combine it with uh, silicate based uh, inorganic binder such as uh, lithium polysilicate. And this uh, really worked. Uh, the combination of uh, silicon oxide coated uh, graphite uh, when combined with silicate based inorganic binder. And this helped to achieve a very uh, nice electrochemical performance. Uh, we could uh, charge and discharge the battery at very high rates such as 20 C. Uh, that is the battery can charge and discharge in uh, 6 minutes. Of course, uh, this was done in uh, half cell configuration and we could achieve a cycling performance of more than 4000 cycles. Uh, we investigated the uh, structural arrangement of uh, these silicon oxide coatings uh, by uh, sophisticated techniques such as tp enhanced Raman spectroscopy. We found that the um, silicon oxide coatings were present as uh, very nicely arranged uh, polysilicate chains and rings onto uh, surfaces of graphite onto the edges and uh, uh, basal planes of graphite. 
and this helped to uh, for the inorganic uh, silicate based inorganic binder to attach very well to it uh, which in turn uh, helped to improve the properties and uh, the cycling of the battery. In fact, we, uh, we studied uh, several sodium ion uh, battery electrode materials uh, with these uh, inorganic binders and achieved uh, improved uh, results. So in my opinion, if you uh, apply a suitable surface coating uh, onto, uh, onto the electrode material and combine with the uh, right uh, inorganic binder, uh, so improved results could be realized, but this needs uh, of course more investigation. So our very near future plan is to work towards aqueous processing of uh, cathode materials for sodium ion batteries. So we are working towards uh, applying suitable surface coating onto the electrode material and combine it with the right aqueous binder and uh, uh, improve the performance uh, of the battery.